that for? Close the hood. Why? You may close the hood now. The car was not in park. I, I guess it must have slipped out of park when we were fooling around and kissing in front of the guard, but it's in park now and, and it works. I'm sorry. Yeah. Thank God for small favors. Move over, I'll drive. DC cops having a busy night. Yeah. Like you get your license and registration. Oh, uh, no need for that, officer. Uh, as you can see, we got the car started. It's running just fine right now. No, I don't need the license and registration. Well, if it's all the same to you, sir, I'd uh, just as soon follow your first order. Yeah, I know. Hey. So you head into the shower, huh? Yes. And as a matter of fact, there's some tiles in there you really should have fixed. Are you sure you didn't paint them? He was looking for cruises to where Cheryl might be. It's not likely he'd look in the tub. He's a handsome man, though. I wouldn't mind finding him in my tub, actually. Well, you're damn lucky you didn't. Did you find anything about Cheryl? No. And since there's no further reason for you to be here... But there's no way for me to get home right now. The last shuttle just left. Oh, in that case, I'll have Angel ready on oh, Wait, 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 wait. I think I may have found something your Commissioner Scorpio luckily missed. It seems Cheryl kept a lot of mementos. I think that this is the one he believed was Cheryl with Julian. Good God. Well, you can't see Julian's face in it. I think Cheryl must have told Scorpio about a relationship with Julian. And he recognized in the picture from the pose that the man holding Cheryl must be Julian. Oh, boy. It's a good thing Mr. Scorpio didn't dig any deeper. You sure you didn't see that? Positive. Nor will he ever. Call your friend Cheryl, say when she comes back, she may miss you. I'll talk to Cheryl. He was my brother. She'll understand. Are you certain that Scorpio never saw Julian up close when you two up in the mountains looking for Anna? No, I'm quite certain. Julian left when, when Robert and Sean got close by. Sean? Sean's a friend of Robert. They were all in the WSB together. Sean ran the WSB. Oh? My wife, Anna, she was in the WSB with Sean and Robert. <laughs> that must make your life interesting. Yes, it does, actually. That's why it's very uncomfortable having you here. Oh, yes. You were about to hide me away in a hotel room. I let Angel do that. I'm going to go home to my wife and excuse me. Oh. You're certain you won't reconsider about my redecorating the club here? I don't want you to spend 300 miles of this place. And quite frankly, it is not a good idea for you to be in Port Charles either. Oh, well, speaking of my appearing in Port Charles, don't you think it would be wiser for me to stay here in Cheryl's apartment? Oh, come on, now you're being no, ridiculous. No, I wouldn't be running the risk of someone recognizing me in a hotel lobby or something. And if Cheryl comes home from wherever she is, I can take her to the hospital. Okay. For Cheryl's sake, you can stay here. I want you out here first thing in the morning and on the first shuttle. Do you understand? Of course. Don't worry about it. Go run along to Anna. Give her my love. Really, don't worry. On the other hand, perhaps I should call her and pay my respects myself. Hmm. Whatever happened to that decorator, Dan? Believe it or not, she managed this little Scorpio. Harry, well, that's too bad for him. I'll tell you something. She's a good-looking gal. I wouldn't mind meeting her in a dark apartment. I mean, I think uh, Scorpio would have found it very interesting. Yeah, I'm sure he would have. But he only has eyes for Cheryl these days, so, you know. Listen, Anna's going to bite my head off if I don't get a hold Okay, okay. okay. All right. Ah, uh, excuse me. Uh, okay. A couple more questions kind of came up. You got a minute? Yeah, I want to. Would like to have a drink? Good. Uh, coffee, maybe. Okay. So this is official business. Make it a martini, then. Martini, Bill. You know, I've been thinking. You ever heard of Cheryl Love? Uh, Discuss her family. I mean, apart from she's looking for a friend that she might turn to. No, I mean, I, I really hardly know her at all. I, she's a marvelous tenant. I've only met her socially. Well, she's been with you. You probably know more about her personal life than I do. Well, I thought. I didn't even know she was having kidney trouble. Me either, because she had an attack over the quarter one night. 
Oh, Scott, I truly wish I could be of more help, but I... You know, she's done an excellent job of covering her track. I just hope she is adept at getting some help for herself somewhere. Oh. Hello, Scott. I was right about one thing, Cheryl. You've got brains as well as beauty. Hmm. Oh, but reading this stuff is about as fascinating as the yellow pages. I guess I could call Duke. He's probably home by now. I could push him a little more about decorating the club here. No, no. It wouldn't do for Anna's guard to get up, for her to think I'm in Port Charles, not yet. No, I need much more time to work on him first. Well, the night's too young for a New York girl. I think I'll go down to the bar and see what's going on down there. Before they roll up the sidewalks in this burg. I'm sorry I can't offer any more help. Anna's expecting me home, so if you'll excuse me. Bill, whatever Mr. Scorpio wants, just put it on the house, will you? Sure. Ah, well, if that's the okay. case, maybe I'll look at the menu. Ah, here you go. Thank you. If you'll excuse me. Mm. Can I help you, Table for one. Yes, please. Oh. This is excellent. I thought you were about to leave. Yeah, I just a little business I should discuss with Angel before I go. Well, you know, come to think of it, this whole business with Cheryl is not doing anything for my appetite. I was wondering if I could prevail upon you to have one more look in the Oh, sure, yeah. Can I borrow your key? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. 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 Thank you come down here like that. Uh, you'd rather I was still upstairs? I'd be more than happy to oblige you to be... Don't be so ridiculous. Sit down. Well, I probably should go back up there and explain what Julian Pitcher's doing on the coffee table. Duke, or excuse me, it's Anna on the telephone. Cat got your phone. What do you mean, Julian Pitcher? You should be as attentive to your wife and kitties. Run along home now and enjoy your family. I was so embarrassed when I figured out the car was still in park. Oh, you were just a little rattled, that's all. No, I was more than rattled when you were so late getting back to the car. Are you trying to imply that I almost botched it, hmm? No, you were wonderful. Oh. It was very impressive. So was some of the information in that file. Did you find out something? What was that, though? Well, their last contact with him was Quebec. Canada? Yeah, but apparently he was on his way to Yugoslavia. So he's in Europe somewhere? I don't know. I don't know. They have no record of him actually getting on the plane. So he's in Canada? <laughs> Unnecessarily. You see, the plane that he was supposed to be on took off with a full complement of passengers. So he might have been in disguise. Hmm. So it could either be somewhere in Canada or somewhere in Europe. Yeah. It certainly doesn't narrow down the search much, does it? Hey, we'll give up now. You have an idea? I, uh, I'll think about it for a while. Mull it over in my mind. Maybe, maybe I can come up with some kind of clue. At least I know the last place he was known to be. 